Hi guys, today I am going to teach you how to quickly and easily replace your skies. So for example, in this photo, we have a very boring sky. There's really no color, There's there are no clouds, there's really not much interest. And this was for sunrise, and then this will be your final result. So you can see here you have texture, you have some clouds, you have this beautiful yellow hue coming here from where the sunrise is supposed to come and it just so happened that this morning I went to this lake in Banff and it's two hours away from where I live and it's known for its beautiful sunrises but personally I think I have like the worst luck when it comes to landscape photography I never get the epic sunrises I never get get great sunsets so I thought there has to be a way where I can still take a nice picture and then maybe add clouds later on. And so I'm going to teach you how to achieve this look in just a couple of minutes. So first of all, you have your photo and now you have to find the right sky. So it can't be something that's overly bright. Like it has to match, for example, the mood of this photo. In this case, there's very soft light. I'm not going to put a bright blue sky with a shining sun here when clearly the, the mountains are still kind of dark and the photo is still kind of dark. So uh, find a sky that matches your mood. So I am going to place the sky that I've already found, which is this one. So you place and then we're going to drag it and enlarge it. Make sure it just everything matches where I want it to be. So, yeah, around there looks pretty good. Hit enter. So obviously there's more work that needs to be done here because it's covered the mountains and the tree. So the next thing we're gonna do is on the blending mode here, we're gonna select from normal to multiply. So that's step number two. Still not good enough, still I have to get these mounts to come through. So one way you can do this is go to your brush tool right here, click on your brush, and black is already selected. So black reveals whatever is underneath. But first we have to create a layer mask, okay? So when your layer mask is selected, make sure that you're always working on the proper layer. In this case, we have to go to the layer mask so that we can reveal what's underneath. So black reveals, and you have your paintbrush over here and you start painting. See how the mountains are coming through? So this is one way to do it. Now it's hard to do it with a brush simply because you have like the edges here and you want to make sure you get everything and then you see you start going into the sky like it makes it very hard. You have to be playing with like the size of your brush. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm a little bit sick. So. We go and we switch the color here to white to conceal. So that paints the sky back on again, see? It's already covered again. So black reveals, okay? White conceals. Okay, that's one way to do it. I'm gonna show you my favorite way to do it because it ensures a very clean um, selection. So I'm gonna hide this layer and I'm going to go back to my background. Make sure you've clicked on your background because that is where your mountains are. I'm going to go to my quick selection tool and I am going to select my mountains. See a lot faster and of course the edges are nice and clean. It's a lot easier than just uh, using the tool brush, the brush tool, sorry. Um, so there, it's nice and clean and it's better selected. So now I'm going to go back and enable my sky and I'm gonna click again on my layer mask. Make sure it's selected, go to edit, fill. Make sure the contents, it says black. Um, if you go to contents, you might have foreground color, content aware is probably the one that you have. Just make sure you select black because remember black reveals and there you go. So now command D select. So the mountains are coming through, but as you can see, it still doesn't look very natural. Like the sky is a little bit mismatched for the rest of the, of the photo. So I'm going to select on the sky right here, not on the layer mask, not on the background, but on the actual sky, because that's where I want to pl apply more changes. So in Photoshop, one of the biggest um, mistakes people do 
is they don't have the right layer selected. So if I'm trying to change certain things of a specific area, you have to make sure that the proper um, item is selected. So what I'm going to do now to make the sky look a little bit more natural is go to my opacity over here and I'm just going to lower it a little bit. See, I'm going to lower my opacity a little bit, make it a little bit softer, not so harsh. And that already looks better. Okay that already looks better then i'm going to hit command l or, or control l if you have windows and that's going to open up my levels so my levels here controls the dark parts of my sky and then here the lighter parts you can even just look over here at the bottom for reference so if i just slide this slightly to the right it makes the darkest part of my skies darker and then over here makes the lightest sky the lightest parts of my sky lighter so it just adds more interest and it's just just changing the sky nothing else so you play with it till you find something that you think is going to work for you that you like okay so I think that's that looks really good if you compare to the before and after a much more interesting photo and now just to add the finishing touches I'm going to go to my curves and this will change the overall aspect of the photo and I might just do auto to see what it looks like that's a little bit too bright for me so I'm going to bring it down clo closer to the curve here that's just a little bit too crazy just turn it there we go. Just bring this closer. And voila, and there you have it. That is my final photo. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.